Hey everyone, it is Wednesday, September 2nd, and this is our new coach boot camp kickoff call or getting started right call. Um, and tonight I just wanted to get everyone on a call and really talk about what our coach training is all about and how you can take this training and get your business started on the right track. Um, by now, I'm hoping that you've all had a chance to watch the new coach webinar. Um, this is an hour long webinar that I go over a lot of the business basics. So if you're on this call and you have not yet watched that webinar or you're watching the recording, um, make sure you have done that. We're going to be talking about a lot of the stuff in that webinar throughout the coach training. And so it's really important that you take the time to watch that so you've got a solid foundation. Otherwise, you're going to be asking questions that have already been answered and explained to you in a video. Um, the reason it's on video is because it's easier to talk about this stuff than to type out a long message for you. So um, please take the time to make that a priority and get that done. Um, and yeah, so if you did have any questions and you've watched the new coach webinar, this is the time for you to get them answered. Um, I'll open it up for a Q&A at some point during this call. So just save those questions for a little while. But I wanted to talk about kind of, you know, as our, we're just kicking off this new coach boot camp. you guys are just getting started with your business, trying to build some momentum as a, as a brand new coach. And I wanted to talk about, you know, some of my tips of how you can make the most of this training and not feel overwhelmed because I know as a new coach, there's all this new stuff coming at you. You've got this group and that group and this message thread and you've got emails from Beachbody and emails from your coach. And it's like, what do I do first? Um, and we tried to make it as simple as possible by creating the new coach checklist, um, which you all should have been sent when you signed up as a coach in your welcome email. And that new coach checklist really helps you set the foundation for your business before the um, boot camp starts. Okay, so by now, like I said, you should have completed the new coach checklist so that you're all ready for our boot camp. How the boot camp is going to work is we're going to cover 14 topics, um, and each day we will cover a new topic. In the morning, um, it will be a personal development accountability post. So really, the whole entire group is accountability for the three vital behaviors. And the three vital behaviors is what we talked about in the new coach webinar. Um, it is the key to success in this business. These are the business basics that you do day in and day out as a baby coach and when you are a five-star diamond coach who's been in the business for two and a half years. These are still the basics that I do every single day to keep my business moving. Um, just to really quickly go over the three vital behaviors, I like to reverse them and talk about them in the opposite order that Beachbody does. So the first vital behavior is personal development, is making sure you are always working on yourself. That is your number one job as a coach is not only to, you know, be on your own health and fitness journey, going through a physical transformation, but a mental transformation through personal growth. Um, it's been one of the most rewarding things for me and something that no one ever told me to do before Beachbody. I had kind of dived into a little bit of personal development. Like I had watched The Secret, which really kind of helps with my mentality and um, positive thinking, the law of attraction, that kind of stuff. But that was as deep as I had gone. And when someone told me, oh, it's now it's your job to work on yourself and really just be the best that you can be, I was like, wow that's the best job ever. Um, and it's been great. You guys, like I have learned so much from personal development and it's not something I did right at the beginning. I kind of dragged my heels on it. I hear this from a lot of coaches. I know Alexa can say the same thing where you just think that you can get by without doing it and you can't like, you just can't. Um, it is something that you are going to hit a wall if you just, gate by on the first little moment. So yeah, you might be able to make some momentum, hit success club, start earning a paycheck. But when things stop working, usually the missing vital behavior is personal development. I'm like, have you been consistent with your personal development? What book are you reading? And they're like, eh, well, I do it sometimes. I'm really busy. I can't seem to find any time to read. And then I'm like, well, who told you that you only had to read? There's personal development audio. There's absolutely no excuse 
not to get your personal development in. I mean, if you're driving a car, if you're commuting to work, you have time to listen to personal development while you are getting to your job, right? There is always a time that you can fit in personal development. So make that a priority. It's first vital behavior. Second vital behavior, be a product of the product. And what does that really mean? That means you need to be on your journey and you need to be sharing it with others, okay? And that's something we're gonna dive way more into with the coach training is sharing your story, sharing your journey, and using social media as a tool to do that. Um, but being a product of the product means that, you know, you're not a walking beach body billboard, but beach body is a part of your journey in some shape, way, or form, and you are sharing that with people. Okay. Don't feel the need to post 24 seven about beach body and please actually don't. It should just be a small sliver of your story. Okay. That's all it needs to be. Um, and it's more about consistency versus posting about beach body 24 seven. So posting about your journey over the long haul is going to make the difference versus posting X amount of times a day. Okay. So uh, third vital behavior is invite, invite, invite. And I like to call this the relationship building behavior. This is your permission to go out and make new friends. Don't overcomplicate the inviting process. Um, I think it can sound scary. It sounds maybe even salesy to some people to be inviting, but inviting to me is just talking to people, building new relationships and making friends. Like that's the great thing that we're going to work on is when you really narrow down your target market, your brand, you're making friends with people that you genuinely want to have relationships with. Um, and then when that happens, it, it's super natural. It is like, it, it's just a natural progression. I'm, I'm hearing beeps in my headphones and I don't know where it's coming from because I don't have Facebook open. Is everyone muted? Yes. Okay. Sorry guys. Um, okay. So those are the three vital behaviors and that's really the key to this business. And you're going to hear it a lot and it might start to get, sound like a broken record. Um, but that's because those three things are really important and embracing them and doing them consistently is the key to your success in this business. Okay. It's not just doing the vital behaviors for one week and then being like, well, Lauren, I didn't get anywhere. Not a week. What? <laughs> Consistency over the long haul. Okay. Uh, so as we go into these 14 topics, each day there'll be the personal development accountability post. In the middle of the day, um, around lunchtime, it depends what time zone you're in. It all launches at different times, different time zones. But uh, around lunchtime comes the topic of the day. Today, our topic of the day was your why, establishing a strong why and really figuring out why you want this business to work, why are you a coach and why do you want to pay it forward? This is super important to keeping you motivated. Um, and it's not something where you can just really give a surface level answer. So um, I posted a training topic about it. There's some text and then there's also a linked video to, um, I'm going to say his name wrong. Simon, Simon's, how do you say it, Alexa? Yeah. Simon Sinek. Simon Sinek. Simon Sinek talking about your why and why that's so important to develop and how like companies with strong why are really successful and the same thing goes for your business. So, um, that is up there. And then the third post of the day is the homework assignment from the topic of the day. Okay. So basically there's a topic and then the homework assignment is going to be linked to that topic. It's going to be an action item for you to go out and do it or to think about it or to share. Okay. And, um, so it's important that you don't just do the homework item, but that you look at whatever training was given to you to go with that item two posts that kind of go together. Um, I saw a bunch of you sharing your whys on today's homework post, which is awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. I'm loving the whys so far. I just want to make sure that you know the flow of things, that that homework post came from the topic post today. And each day there will be something slightly different. Okay. But overall, it'll be the same flow of everything. We're all reading You Are a Badass together by Jensen Sincero. If you haven't already ordered it, please do. I think I've posted like a million times in the group about ordering the book. So you guys are probably like, shut up, Lauren. Yes, we ordered it. It's coming. Um, which is great. It's an awesome personal development book, audio. It, it's, it's great. Either way, it doesn't matter how you get it done. Just get it done and pick a method that you're going to stick with. So if you're only going to read five pages of the book, stop wasting your time and just go get the personal development audio and listen to it. Okay. Um, and make sure if you're listening to audio that you're not just mindlessly listening to it. Um, sometimes when I'm listening to audio PD, I will listen to things more than one time. 
to make sure that it really sunk in. So each time I listen, I go back like five or 10 minutes and I re-listen to some of yesterday's stuff so that it sinks in again and then I move forward because you'll fly through the personal development book um, if you're doing it audio wise. It's just a couple hours long or maybe I think something like that. Maybe it's a little more. I forget. What is it like three or six hours? I forget. Someone know? Regardless, uh, point is make sure you're actively listening and really soaking everything in. So like if you got distracted, if you're listening at work or the kids distracted you, like go backwards and re-listen to stuff to make sure you're really pulling out all the stuff that she touches on. It's really a great book. It's one of my favorite books and I think it's great for you to start with because it'll get you hooked on personal development if you really embrace it. Okay. She's just so funny and entertaining and relatable. You get it. You get it the way Jen explains everything. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's kind of just some of the basics that I wanted to go over, establish some ground rules. Does that all make sense to you guys that are on the call live, like of how the group's going to work personal development in the morning? Because the reason I'm posting that in the morning is I hope that you start your day with personal development. Okay. So you start your day with personal development. You come and you post your takeaway right after you do your personal development into our page or into our boot camp for accountability so that we know that you did your PD that day. If you finish the book, move on to the next one. We have an entire list of PD recommendations in our big team page, Team Fit Revolution. Um, like we have personal development recommendations for every topic and possible thing that you would ever want to do. So if you finish that book, go on to the next one and continue sharing your personal development takeaways. Um, the goal of our new coach boot camp, let's talk about that. Like what do we want to accomplish in the next two weeks to 30 days? Okay. So the training will last two weeks, but if you fall behind, don't worry, that's okay. You have the full 30 days to get all this stuff in. But for the first 14, it's going to come out at you one day, one topic in a day. Okay. Don't stress if you fall behind. Okay. It's not about that. It's just about doing it. Sometimes we move at different paces because we have different lives. Okay. Maybe, you know, you're on summer break right now and you've got a bunch of time to watch training videos and you're flying through this stuff. Maybe you are super busy with back to school with your kids. Like, I don't know. Um, oh, where we get the feedback noise. Where's that from? I don't know. Everyone's muted. Weird. Anywho, um, the goal of the new coach training is to help you pay for your initial investment into the business. So I want everyone by the end of 30 days to have earned back the cost of your challenge pack plus the $15 business fee. Okay. Basically meaning your business was free for you to start because you earned that back in the first 30 days. How awesome would that be? Right? Yeah, like if everyone earned $140, $160 in their first month of their business. Just so you know, I didn't get a paycheck for my first three months. So you earn your challenge pack back in the first 30 days, you're off to a great start. And the way that we will get that initial challenge pack and business be paid for is by helping three to five people start their journey this month. Okay. And not only helping three people start their journey this month, but consistently helping three new people each and every month. You don't have to change the world. It's one person at a time, one life at a time. And, um, helping three people embracing that, that, um, goal of helping at least three new people start their journey every month will ensure that your business grows consistently so that not only do you get your initial challenge pack paid for, but your Shakeology is covered every month. If you want to order a new program or product, you don't have to worry about it. You can order whatever you want from the Beachbody website because your income is covering it. You are starting to save money and pay off bills or fill up your gas tank or buy an extra um, you know, bag of groceries, whatever it is. It starts small, but you stick with it and it compounds and turns into uh, you know, something really big and beautiful. So just know that it's consistency over the long haul, which is why we emphasize really hitting success club and helping three new people start their journey every single month. And yeah, obviously if you do help three people start their journey with challenge packs, um, we will, or you will hit success club. And we talked about that in the new coach webinar. Um, success club is the foundation of everything. 
the foundation of your business and it's the foundation of helping your team. So when you sign on new coaches and you're like, well, I don't know how to help these coaches, you help your coaches do exactly what you are doing which is hitting success club is helping three new people. It's not complicated. It's not about, you know, huge numbers. It's about just making a difference and making sure everyone knows that they matter. Okay. You helping one person is huge. You could be that life changer, the difference for them, the person that believes in them when they didn't believe in themselves. And you have the opportunity to impact someone's life in that way when you become a coach, which is a really cool thing. Okay. And um, so not only can you get your, or if you hit success club, will you pay for your initial challenge pack, cover the cost of any future product purchases. But if you hit success club for the first three months of your business, and I'm assuming is everyone here, did everyone here raise your hand if you signed up in August? Okay. Mostly everyone. So um, if you signed up in August, you are eligible for the Success Starters Program. August, September, but I'm assuming most of you are August. So if you signed up in August and you hit Success Club September, October, November, three months in a row, you earn a free ticket to Summit 2016 in Nashville. And um, I don't know if you follow me on social media or any of the other coaches on the team that were in Nashville, but it was a blast. It was so much fun. Um, not only is it great business training to take your business to a whole nother level, um, it is amazing to experience the live energy of an event to connect with your team, especially, you know, we're all over the country. So it's like we get together a couple times a year and it's always a good time. So I want to see you. I want to meet you at Summit 2016 and I want to help you get there for free. Okay. Your Summit ticket is normally a $300 ticket if you purchase at full price. So you have the opportunity as a brand new coach to earn that for free. Shout out to Leela. She's on the call. She earned or she hit success club her first month. So she only has two more months. She hit in August. So she just is September and October. And then she's earned her free ticket to summit. Alexa, did you earn a free ticket? Was that around when you were a coach? No. So this is a new program. I didn't have the opportunity to earn my ticket either. Um, but it's something that Beachbody started doing somewhat recently. And I think it's freaking awesome. And I want everyone who is serious about this business. Like if you're just a discount coach, I'm not going to tell you, you need to be at summit, but if you're serious about this business and you want to turn this to something, um, long-term a career, uh, something that supports your family, then you need to be at summit. Okay. So get that ticket earned for free. Hit success club your first three months in your business. Okay. Um, and um, everyone should be obviously like a part of the Facebook group and like sees how that group works, right? You guys, is there any questions about like just the way the group is going to operate and all that good stuff? Go ahead and type in the chat box if there is. Just want to make sure we're all on the same page before I move on. Okay. Um, okay, let's chat a little bit more about, you know, some of the first, we're going to talk more about this in detail throughout the training, but one of the key things when you get started as a new coach is to start putting yourself out there on social media. And I know this can be scary for you guys, but it is by far the most important thing you can do because whether you're getting likes or comments, it doesn't really matter. People are watching. And, um, as they watch you be consistent with your social media and continue to share your journey and not give up because giving up isn't an option. When they see that determination within inside of you, they're going to want to know what you're doing and they're going to want to be a part of it because they're going to watch you go through the change. Okay. It doesn't matter where you are right now on your journey. It's about taking people with you on the journey and showing them from start to finish where you go. Something great that Alexa did, um, you know, right from the very get go it's not like she had lost a whole bunch of weight or anything. She, I thought, I think maybe lost 10 pounds in her first challenge group and then went on from there to become a coach and just shared her journey for the accountability. Now people have watched her melt away over the last two years and they're like, Holy crap, Alexa, I can't build a business because I don't have an amazing transformation like you, but that's not true. Alexa has an amazing transformation because she was a coach and because this kept her accountable. And, um, she has an amazing thriving business because she didn't just start sharing her journey today at her end result where she's got this amazing picture and you're like, Whoa, is that really the same girl? Because she looks totally different. No, the reason she has a successful thriving business is because she took people from her from point A to point B and they're like, Holy crap. 
like they're, they, they just watched her. Okay. So it snowballed over time because as more and more people watch her and see the transformation, they join. But it was the long haul that got her to where she is today. And if you don't know, um, Alexa is currently number 18 in the company. She's a freaking rock star coach on her team. And I learn from her every single day. So I love to use her as an example because like, I think she's a way better coach than me. So yeah. Um, Okay, so sharing every single day on social media is key. You got to do it. So right now, if you're not posting on Facebook at all, I'm not going to tell you to go start posting three times a day. That'd be a little weird. If you have been a Facebook stalker for the last two years, that's okay. That was me too. Like, let's be real. Um, we all stalk people on Facebook. And if that's been you for the last, you know, bit of time and you haven't been posting on social media, it'd be really weird if you just all of a sudden started posting three times a day. So baby steps. I want you to start consistently posting one time a day for a week. And once you get that one time a day where you're posting at least one time a day on social media, then you go up to two, then you go up to three. Don't stress about the numbers, focus on the consistency and doing the small things day in and day out because that will make the biggest difference, okay? So start sharing your journey today. Even if you're at day one of your journey, start sharing it and take people with you. Um, you know, we're gonna work on storytelling and, and growing your story, but a lot of you, if you've had a GSR call with me, we talk about your story. What is your fitness story? And I would love if, you know, someone on the call would like to share, but really, you know, what is your story? Where, where did you start with your health and fitness? Um, where are you now here? Let me actually, I'm going to just pull up my GSR questions really quick. Mm -mm. And I would love for someone to answer like, what is your fitness story? Um, you know, like where, like that, yeah, that's the question I literally ask in my GSR. So does someone want to tell me their fitness story of where they came and, um, where they're going now? Just, just tell me all of it. Someone, someone new, not one of my personally sponsored coaches that I've talked to. Anyone? This is a love only zone. And um, by you sharing your story, it's going to be great practice for you. There's no right or wrong answer. I will help you. And this will be a great I'll, example for people. Anyone? I'll, I'll share. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Hey, Melissa. Hi, I am on Brittany Powers team. And, um, I'm, I became a coach in February, but basically my story is that my entire life I'd been kind of fit. You know, I did gymnastics as a little girl and, um, I weighed about 125 pounds all my life. Then I got married, life changed. And then I had kids. And on my first child, when I was pregnant, I gained about 45 pounds. And it was just really hard for me to lose it once he was born because I was completely overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. I thought I knew everything about motherhood because I had read all the blogs and all the books. And then all of a sudden, it was just incredibly overwhelming. And the weight coming off, just it didn't, even though everybody said, don't worry about it, it will. Mm -hmm. um, fast forward and 18 months later, I got pregnant again. And then I ended up uh, gaining about 75 pounds. Okay. Um, so at five feet, one inch, I weighed almost 200. Mm -hmm. And for me going my entire life being, um, you know, fit 125 pounds, it was just really kind of depressing. Mm -hmm. I felt very insecure and, 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 you know, lacked confidence. And then, um, just by watching Brittany on Instagram that I just kind of just started following her because I, I saw her picture one time randomly. Um, I just got really inspired by her and I got, I uh, was like, well, you know, she has two kids. Um, they were born, um, you know, about 12 months apart, sort of like mine. And if she can do it, then so can I. And so I did. And so far I've lost about 30 something pounds and I'm just about 20 pounds um, from my goal weight. And so I became a coach exactly for that to become accountable because um, the more I post, the more accountable I become because people start following me more. And I feel like, oh, I, I've really got to show them that it can be done. Even though I work full time, I have two kids, a husband, and all of that. So that was it. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for sharing, Melissa. That was awesome. Like, I couldn't have asked for a better example because, <laughs> first of all, like, as I was listening to Melissa tell her story, you guys might not all know Brittany Powers' story, but I think many of you do know Brittany Powers. And, um, you know, I. Oh, I think you are muted. I can't hear you, Bexie. I, I, it doesn't show you muted, but I can't hear you. Can anyone hear her on the feedback? I don't think there is. So you're good. 
Um, but anyway, Melissa, like your story reminded me a ton of Brittany's and like that's because Brittany does a really great job sharing her story. So Brittany shares her story on Instagram and social media and she's attracting other moms that can relate to her story and, and connect with it. And then they do the same thing. Like that was so awesome. And all those things that Melissa shared with us, like, you know, she was, she was fit her whole life. Um, she never struggled with her weight and then, you know, life happens, marriage, kids, and all of a sudden she has lost herself and, um, she, she's made herself the last priority because she's so busy taking care of everyone else. Um, that's a big part of her story. That's something that so many people can relate to because that's what we tend to do when life gets busy we neglect ourselves, you know, work comes first, family comes first. And it's like, our self is the last thing because we can get away with neglecting it. And no one, no one is going to tell you not to. Well, I'm here to tell you that you're worth it and that you need to stop neglecting yourself and you need to put yourself first. Even if you're busy or mom, whatever you are worth it and you deserve it. And so Melissa, like just, just exactly how you told the story to us. It's about taking that story, digging deeper on it, peeling back the layers and you don't need to necessarily share the entire story that Melissa shared with us today, but to piece by piece, put that out on social media and to constantly reflect back on where you were, um, you know, where you've come from and now where you're going. And yeah, like, I'm so glad you joined the team for the accountability. It seriously is the ultimate accountability for your business. And I have no doubt if you share that story that you just told us on social media, um, that is what is going to attract people to your business and help you have a thriving business. So yes, thank you so much for sharing because that was awesome. And even if your story is not the same as Melissa's, you have your own story. It's unique and it has a lot of value and it's going to allow you to connect with people that are your target market. So the best thing you can do as a new coach is start sharing that story is to start sharing your journey and just to put stuff out there and to be consistent with it. Okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I've got for you guys tonight. I really wanted to focus on the, uh, emphasizing the importance of sharing your story because that's really what you need to do as a new coach is get outside your comfort zone and put yourself out there. Um, so if anyone has got any questions about sharing your story, um, we can briefly touch on social media, or if you've got questions about the new coach webinar, any of the topics that we covered in the new coach webinar that maybe didn't make sense, volume placement, getting to Emerald, success club, changing your Shakeology. These are all things that we covered in the new coach webinar. And I want to make sure that that stuff is crystal clear to you guys. So is there any questions about that? I'm not seeing anything coming up in the chat box. Um, what are some tips in sharing your story? So it doesn't sound like every other Beachbody coach's story. Well, it's your story. So it shouldn't all be about Beachbody. It should be, you know, Beachbody is just a really small part of it. So focus on where you were before Beachbody. Like, let's talk about this for a second, Emily. Um, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay. So um, why don't you tell me your story? And so then I can help you make it a little bit different than every other Beachbody coach's story. Okay. So I was kind of the same way. Never had a problem with weight. Was really active in athletics all the way through high school, college, you know, was pretty, still had youth on my side, didn't really have to worry that much, you know, maybe five pounds here and there. Um, never really had a problem with weight until I moved abroad and then started eating different foods. Um, then kind of got on a health kick there, lost a ton of weight, gained it back, and that's kind of where what I've been doing ever since. So I've become, I was kind of thinking about it and I felt like I became really good at dieting, but really poor at just living a healthy life. So. I can do a program and I can stick to it hundred percent. And the more, the more strict, the better I do. And then I completely fall apart when it comes to just trying to maintain. Mm -hmm. And so I've been living in basically a consistent world of dieting for now the last five to seven years. Um, mm -hmm. and, and have tried pretty much everything <laughs> out there. Um, and usually I can always lose weight. It's just a matter of maintaining health um, that is the bigger issue. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, um, so yeah, I mean, besides obviously, so there's so many layers of your story that we just talked about there. So, you know, connecting with, I'm going to, I'm going to meet you really quick, connecting with, um, you know, college or people that were athletic in their high school, college days. I don't know how you exactly target that once people have moved on for that, but you know what I'm saying? Like each layer of your story. And then the one thing that really stuck up, to, uh, stuck out to me that maybe it's part of your target market is targeting the perpetual dieter and helping them make it a lifestyle as you make it a lifestyle. So focusing on, you know, I have tried everything. I've done everything. I've never found something that I've been able to stick with as a lifestyle. Like that's how it's different. So relate back to all the things that you've tried and tell people, I mean, Alexa, I feel like you have a very kind of similar story. This was Alexa all the time. She was the yo-yo diet. Do you want to talk about it a little bit? Like there's just so many different um, little layers in there that you can touch on and share regularly, um, you know, and kind of tweaking it each time. Alexa, do you want to? Yeah. Can I actually, um, share something that I learned from another, sorry, I'm going into my bedroom because my husband's out here and I don't want to, I was listening, but now I don't want to <coughs> be away from him. Okay. So this is something that, um, I learned from another coach and this really helps in kind of developing your brand and figuring out who, um, not really who, yeah, who you're really targeting and talking to in your posts. So think about um, your five top priorities in your life, the, mo the non-negotiable things in your life that are the most important to you. Is that your kids? Is that um, your, your uh, husband? Is that, you know, your health and fitness? Is that your faith? You know, whatever the most important things are to you in your life. Then think about three struggles either that you have in your life right now or that you have overcome. So for example, now, once again, this is not just like beach body related, but this is just like your life because we, we aren't just about beach body. Just like Lauren said, we have so many parts of, to us. So make sure that you're, you're sharing all, all parts of your life because that's how you're going to be able to attract similar people. So, um, struggles could be maybe, maybe they're financial struggles. Maybe, um, you hate your job. Maybe, um, you're a busy mom trying to just balance, you know, raising kids and living life and staying healthy. Um, maybe you, uh, have PCOS, you know, health issues or whatever. Um, and then think about two things in your life that you love, the things that make you happy. Do you love to go to concerts? Do you love to go wine tasting? Do you love to hang out with your kids? You know, think about these things. And, you know, though these, these are 10 things that you just thought of and listed out. These are all things that are part of you in your story. And though we may think, well, there's so many beach body coaches. Um, you guys, there's 350,000 beach body coaches and there's like a million, millions of people in this country that are obese that we need to help. There's never going to be a saturation issue with beach body coaches and the number of people that we need to help. Um, don't try and help everybody. Just focus on the people that are like you, because those are the people that you're going to build, um, such a strong connection with. And yes, I can type, type those things that I just listed off for you guys for sure. But, um, just like Lauren said, like you have different layers to your story. There's different parts, there's good parts and there's bad parts. So just think about those, those specific things in your journey, in your story, and just amplify them on social media. So for me, a really quick example, I don't want to like go on forever, but I'll just share like, you know, for me, I was a corp, you know, former corporate climber, um, hated my job though, wanted freedom. Um, I was yo-yo dieter. I was addicted to fast food. Um, I, you know, I'm just trying to think of things like right off the top of my head, but you know, I really, in my social media, I just amplify those things like times 10. I'm Alexa times 10. I talk about talk, my Taco Bell addiction um, on a weekly basis. And it's because now I attract people who are addicted to fast food and I can really connect and click with them because we have this shared interest, right? So anyways, I'm sorry, Lauren, to kind of like take over your call and hijack, but I just really want to share that because really like just thinking about those things about your story and who you are and just making sure that you're not, like I said, not trying to appeal to everybody, just appeal to the person that's like you. That's how you're going to attract the people that are meant to be in your business, whether that's a challenger, whether it's coach. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Lauren. No, that was freaking awesome. Um, you can talk anytime you want and hijack the call at any point. So, um, yeah, like I said, I love Alexa. So, yeah, she hit the nail on the head. Like, it's just about peeling back each layer of your story and really highlighting it. 
Um, Emily, you're not like every other Beachbody coach. You always have to remember that your feed might be filled with Beachbody coaches because you've added a bunch of Beachbody coaches on the team and you're seeing Beachbody 24 seven and a bunch of fit moms and all this stuff, but that's not what your friends are seeing. Your friends are just seeing you. You're the only inspiration in their newsfeed, or maybe there's a couple, but don't let that like fear of there being so many other Beachbody coaches. You're you. As long as you're sharing you, not only your story, but your daily life. So, you know, life of a mom, working out with a toddler, working at home, um, you know, eating clean with a a picky toddler and a husband who, Alexa's husband does not like vegetables and she has to smuggle all vegetables into him. So she like shares stuff like that. But like, hey, I sneaked a scoop of power greens into my hubby's shakeology today and he didn't know. Um, So then she can relate to, that has so much more to, to do with just shakeology because that has to do with husbands that are picky eaters and don't support your lifestyle. And how many women have that as a struggle? Their spouse is not on board with their lifestyle. And it's something that is an obstacle for them. And Alexa can relate to them by sharing that. And, um, I love, you know, all the things that she listed out are not about Beachbody, but you can somehow take those things that she listed out and pull them into your Beachbody story. Right. It's just like a little part of it or Beachbody helped you overcome it in some way. Um, so yeah, just focus on all those things. They all have value and, um, your story will continue to develop. It'll continue to change. And just remember daily life things like you guys today, when I, right before this call started, I was posting a picture of Pico de Gaio that I made. And I was like, you can go look at my social media. It's on my Instagram, like some really simple posts, like homemade Pico de Gaio. That means one thing, Taco Tuesday. Well, I didn't mention anything Beachbody in that post, but that is a Pico de Gaio recipe that came from the 21 day fix cookbook. Okay. And I don't mention all of those things that I like share my life and my journey instead of being like, I made this delicious recipe from the 21 day fix cookbook, which you can do that too. Like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I like to just be me and be relatable because people can relate to Pico de Gallo and people like Pico de Gallo and they're going to be like, Ooh, what's the recipe? Oh, well it came from my 21 day fix cookbook. Perfect. Then I can slot in Beachbody without making the post centered around Beachbody. Does that make sense? Like tying it in in little ways without constantly being like Beachbody, Beachbody, Beachbody. Like, no, you don't need to do that. I don't think that feels good to anyone. And that's not something that's really going to help your business. So, um, yeah, and I'm going to copy and paste what Alexa just did really quick so that I can, cause that was freaking awesome. Let me know it to myself. Okay. So yeah. Any other questions. I think there might have been something down the chat box. Um, when doing your post, always incorporate at least one of your 10 things and you will start to attract people to you. Yes. So, you know, there's definitely a lot of inviting and reaching out to people, but like I said, the inviting is not complicated. It's conversation starting. It's relationship building. It's wishing people a happy birthday on their birthday. It's doing those simple things that open the door to be like, Hey, how have you been? I've been great. How are you? And you can tell them about Beachbody, right? You can tell them, I mean, and you're not, you're not like, oh yeah, I just became a Beachbody coach, blah, 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 blah. No, you're like, hey, yeah, I've been on my health and fitness journey. I'm doing so awesome. Like I've lost, you know, five pounds and I'm in these awesome support groups. I'm just, I'm feeling great about myself right now. And they're going to be like, wow, that's awesome. I'm so happy for you. What are you doing? Okay. So like just open the doors for conversation. And that is really the key with inviting. Um, but it's really a beautiful thing when your brand becomes so strong that you don't necessarily have to be reaching out to con- people constantly. You've got people coming to you and that's a skill that you're going to develop. It's not going to happen right away. Okay. You're not just going to start posting and your inbox is flooded and you've got people messaging you left and right. Like they want to join your challenge group. When you go back to my early posts, I love time hop for this. I've got like five likes on my pictures. There's no comments. No one's engaging with me. It, we all start somewhere. So don't look at my post, Alexis post and compare yourself because that's the worst thing you can do. We're at a totally different chapter of our story than where you are at starting your journey. And I promise you, people are watching whether they're interacting or not. So really the take home message for you today and with this new coach training is to get yourself out there to get yourself consistently posting on social media and sharing your story, digging deep, finding the layers, becoming vulnerable with people. And that will help you attract your target market. Any other questions, ladies? I think it's all ladies on the call tonight. (laughs) 
Or do we have a little gent? Is it, what's it with, what's, who's the baby? Is the baby a boy or a girl? Caitlin? It's a girl. Girl. Okay, yeah. We're all ladies. Ladies. What's her name? Summer. Summer. I love it. That's a pretty name. Well, thank you for being on even with your baby. I love it. So it shows like shout out to mamas out there. She's got her baby in her <laughs> arms and she's sitting on the call learning about her business and growing it. That's awesome. You go girl. Okay. Any other questions you guys? No. Cool. Well, this recording will be posted up in our coach training. Um, there may be some other calls throughout. Um, we'll probably do like a wrap up call at the end of the coach training, but I just wanted to connect with everyone, see your faces, make sure we were all on the same page um, as we are kicking everything off. So I'm really excited to dive deep with you guys over the next 14 days. I want to end with one thing. You guys, there is like, don't wait to finish training to start doing things. Okay. There's an endless amount of training that you can do in this business. And I am forever a student of Beachbody. To this day, I watch training videos. I develop my leadership skills and I grow. So don't wait to start doing things and don't think you need to have all the answers to build a team or to hit success club. You just need to put yourself out there. It's why I really am talking about that. And although we'll cover a lot of basics in the 14 days, the process of learning Beachbody is something that goes on for a long time. And I love it. I love learning about social media. I love learning how I can help more people. I love improving my skills. And that's what it's about. So please don't get caught up in training because it's really not that important. It's about doing and learning as you go. You're going to fail a million times. I have. And um, if you're not failing, you're doing something wrong. You're not doing enough. So please fail forward, embrace it, and you will go far with this business. But don't get caught up in training, okay? Not that important. Lauren. Yeah. Lauren, can I ask a question? Yeah. Uh, um, okay, so... I've been tempted to top coaches and request. I'm, I'm, I want to learn so much, right? And I already know there's a lot of stuff on YouTube and whatnot that coaches post for their team calls. But I've been tempted, and I just want to know if it's taboo, um, to reach out to, like, a, like, let's say, a Melanie Mitro and, and ask for, like, am I allowed to try to get into her group page um, to see what kind of resources she provides to her team. Is that taboo? Yeah. Then you can only be on your team page. I'd be very surprised if another top coach let you into their team page. Sure. You can reach out. Uh, I would just suggest you dig through their social media. The answers yeah. are all out there and they're public. I learned from the top coaches in the business by going to YouTube. So just go to her YouTube channel. I guarantee all of her new coach. Actually, I'm sure her new coach getting started stuff is all on there. So you can see how she does it. Um, uh, but no team pages are usually exclusive to the team and kind of what, co what top coaches do to benefit the entire network, because we're also giving, we want to help everyone succeed in this. I just want to help more people reach freedom. We make our resources. Most of them are public. So you can find almost everything on YouTube. You can stock Melanie Mitra's blog or do things like that. Yeah. But I would say she's probably going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so, but. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and Melanie Mitra doesn't have any secrets that, um, that you don't have. So don't get caught up trying to learn what the top coaches are doing. Like, yeah, I definitely take notes and I get inspiration from them, but instead just start doing it. And if you like Melanie Mitra and she's someone you connect with and you like the way she does things, study her, become yeah. a student of Melanie. All of her stuff is out there. I've learned, I love Melanie Mitro. She has great systems and um, has really grown her business in a way that I respect. And um, I've learned almost everything that she does and I've never spoken to Melanie Mitro personally. So <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Anything else you guys? Okay. Well, if you do have questions as we're going through the training, the place to ask them is in our training group. Okay. So comment underneath if things aren't making sense. If you want more explanation, if you want additional videos, if you want, you know, other feedback from other coaches, please reach out in the training group or use our team page. Um,
Okay, guys, that's everything I've got for you tonight. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. Thank you so much for watching. And if you do have questions about anything that we chatted about, you know where to ask.